This is my avatar with full body tracking in VRChat. I have a small room, no base station, no heavy trackers, and no crazy wires. And today, as we get into the world of full body tracking, let's talk about how you can achieve the same thing. Before we get started, let's get introduced to this product. This is Makopi. When it first came out, it took a phone mobile first approach. This means that they needed an all-in-one portable system. As you can see in this case, there are six trackers. If you use it on mobile, this is for your head, wrists, ankles, and hip. If you have a VR headset, the wrist ones turn to your thigh trackers and your head can be attached to your chest. Now, since its conception, it has evolved into such a beautiful format where you can also attach this to your PC VR, but it still has the great aspects of being mobile friendly. That means that the case itself is a charging case. If you need Makopi to be in a different room or you want to use it to travel with, you absolutely can. Unlike setups where you have a base station, which basically makes your one room that room for VR, Makopi doesn't need a certain amount of space. It doesn't even need that much setup. And this is because the sensors are wireless, connected with your phone or a Sony data receiver. Now, the Sony data receivers do come in the Pro Kit along with more Makopi sensors, more wristbands, more ways of tracking. Or you can buy it individually, but I do recommend it for those that are using PC VR. This is because it provides a direct connection to the PC, improving efficiency and easier setup, and less latency. But what does come in your standard kits are these six sensors, a headband, two wristbands, two ankle bands, one waist clip, and your charging case, which is USB-C. You will have the essentials to get started. So with that, let's get to the setup and test it out in VR chat. I'll guide you through it. Today, we'll be using Quest 3 and the controllers, which means these wrist sensors will turn into my thigh sensors. My upper body tracked with Quest 3, arms tracked with Quest 3 controllers, bottom half tracked all with Makopi. And if I want to, the head can also be my chest tracker. Wait for some isolation dancing in VR chat. You'll need Makopi VR and Steam VR. Turn on your headset and go into Steam VR because Makopi VR will ask you for your VR device and Steam VR to be running before you can start. So after plugging in your receiver, it will turn blue, indicating that it's ready to go. Now you can connect it using your Android smartphone or your iPhone. We're going in with the sensor data receiver. So all your motion data will now be sent to your PC just using the receiver. The first time you do this, you will want to make sure that all your sensors match up with all the things I have covered here. You will find that at the back of your sensors. It's a one-time thing. So now we'll be turning on all the trackers. All it takes is just pressing it. It's gonna turn blue and start blinking they are on. In Makopi VR, you will hit connect. Make sure all the sensors are not on you yet. They must lay flat and still. Once they're all green, you're ready to go and you can start putting them on you. So after you got them on your ankles, thighs, and your hip, and you indicate the range of how tall you are, ready for calibration. The toughest part. Yes, you wait, you take a step forward, and you wait again. Ding, you're done. Now let's open up VR chat and see our legs move. But don't forget this very important thing. You must go into VR chat, go to your menu, select calibration, and hit that T pose. I didn't do this and I thought I had legs for some reason. So when I actually did it, I was so happy because it looks amazing. Before I calibrated on VR chat, I was like, why aren't my legs stretched out? I thought they were gonna stretch out. They do, they do, they do everything. It's so fun. You just need to calibrate. Like I know sitting is, is such a silly thing to like be excited about, but it's pretty cool to see your legs on VR. But of course, that's not all that's amazing about it. You can dance, you can bother people. So cool. I could stomp on you. Look. Don't. <laughs> you can bring it around town. And let's say your legs are dragging or something. Your legs are going crazy or something. You need to recalibrate. All you need to do is hold the button on your hip for like three seconds. And then a pop-up will come up for you to recalibrate. It takes probably 10 seconds, if that. But now that you've seen the five sensors, I'm going to add the chest sensors and finish out this video with that also there. Thank you so much, Sony, for sponsoring this video. It's been an amazing adventure getting to create content in a new, different way to express myself with my whole body, which is something I can't do as a 2D VTuber. The pros of Makopi are just that you don't need base stations, you don't need heavy wires, 
You don't need heavy trackers. My whole thing about VR is I don't want to feel that I have a bunch of things on me and I don't have a big room. Base station is not really the ideal setup for my space. And as someone newer to the world of full body tracking, this was a very beginner friendly setup. But like I mentioned before, part of that reason was because the Sony data receiver is just so brilliant. And the big, big pro is you'll only need to plug in one data receiver. So you only really need one USB port for these six trackers. This will be a wireless connection. Kopi comes in with a solution that is light and easy. They also updated it. So if you want to do sign VR linkage, that is possible too. And it's just this little side note, this technology is more than just for VR chat. If you do want to scale it up to something crazier, it can be a great tool for animation and motion capture in general. For example, using something like there's in motion studio, that's where things like the full body tracking package really come in handy. The world of full body tracking can just be so expansive. And I really am glad that they're giving options for people that you have like a small room. They want to have an immersive experience. Let me know your questions down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. I need to, I need to get mocap, uh, full body so I can <laughs> kick you. <laughs> oh, like this? <laughs> Dude, you suck. <laughs>